Welcome to this PAMS demonstration video, which will show you two methods of dust collection for air quality monitoring. Air quality is very important. Lots of fine particles, which we often call dust, can be bad for animal, human health and the environment. Dust can cause breathing problems, irritation to eyes and even non-fatal heart attacks. Depending on the type of particles, they can also mix with water and create acid rain. Air quality can be particularly bad in built-up areas where there's lots of fossil fuels being burnt. Bushfires, drought and blasting from mining can lead to lots of ash and dust in the air. Although not considered a pollutant, pollen can cause irritation to those with hay fever. However, air quality indoors can surprisingly be worse than air quality outdoors. Some of the main causes of dust inside are shedding skin and hair, which sounds gross, but every animal does it. For our first method of dust collection, you will need plain paper, a marker pen, a set square or ruler, petroleum jelly, a cotton bud, thick transparent plastic such as acetate sheets, if you have a magnification device, such as a microscope or magnifying lens, then you'll be able to see a lot more. And a camera is also optional. The first step is to mark out a grid on your acetate. Put it on top of the plain paper to make it easier to see. Use your ruler to mark out your grid area. And then start to create the grid by marking every centimetre along the top and the bottom. Connect the marks together to create a series of vertical lines. Do the same on the sides, drawing on horizontal lines to thus create a grid. Draw out a few more grids the same way so that you can stick them all in different locations. Use the cotton bud to wipe the petroleum jelly over the grid. The dust will stick to this now. Use the blue tack to stick up your grids around your home and garden. Think about the different types of dust you might want to collect and where it would be interesting to compare. Here are the locations that I chose for my experiment. After a few days, take your grids down. Make sure you have written the location name on them so you know where they come from. Use your magnifying lens or microscope to have a look at the samples. It's a good idea to place your samples face down on a plain piece of paper. This will make it easier to see the particles and mean that you can put your lens on the plastic without it getting covered in petroleum jelly. Compare your samples. Which sample had the most dust? Were there different types of dust, different shapes and sizes? The second dust collection method is much simpler. You will only need some tissues and a pen. A magnifying device and a camera is optional. Again, decide on the locations you want to sample. Then wipe each location using a different tissue for each location and make sure you write down the location on the tissue. Did some get much dirtier than others? Use your magnifying device to have a closer look. Compare the methods of dust collection. Which was the easiest to carry out? Which one was the quickest? Do you think that one was more scientific than the other? Which one would you be able to get data from if you wanted to make graphs or do some statistical analysis? Thanks for watching this PAMS demonstration video. For more fun, hands-on earth science activities, visit our website, palms.edu.au.